talking about the cyber threat landscape during those years, right? Um, so we talked about the diversification of the threat actor profiles, um, monetization. We were looking at monetization, monetization, no longer just disruption, mm -hmm. right? Um, so do you think that the threat actors, um, their skill set is always seem to be a lot more sophisticated than the cyber defenders? You know, I think I think that word sophisticated is is almost overused oh, in a lot of cases right. um, because oh, okay. they are sophisticated. But so is the cybersecurity industry itself. It's it's sophisticated. But to say that it is like a an advanced threat actor or that that sort of term is is always um, I find it interesting because in the end, as a threat actor, the goal is to use the least amount of resources possible to break into a network, mm -hmm. right? Like they're they're not going. It's like we're not going to spend you know twenty million dollars on an exploit in order to like break into a company and steal two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, right? It's like I want to get in in the cheapest way possible and the most efficient way possible in the same way that the defenders are like, I want to be able to protect my network mm. in the most efficient way possible, <laughs> right? I don't yeah. want to spend an exorbitant amount of money on, on defending um, in the same way that threat actors, um, eh, but don't get me wrong, there's clever, there's always cleverness involved in, in mm -hmm. the threat actors. I mean, it's fascinating to track when you look at, um, for example, everything from like, you know, ransomware to money laundering to, you know, money mules to like, you know, people like mm -hmm. using, you know, a, a whole network of like mule herders and that sort of thing in order to get the actual money out when, yeah. they, when they do steal money, right? It's a very sophisticated network um, or, or, and it's a clever network. It's very organized but it's, as well. But, it's, but it's, it's a criminal network, right? I mean, like, but criminals... You could say the same thing about any criminal, right? Like it's uh, money laundering. You, uh, you, you need to like have a, a level of knowledge about the money industry mm. in order to be able to launder money, right? And it's not like you say it's a very sophisticated money launderer. You just generally speaking, they're like, oh, it's a money launderer, right? Like that's so it's it's interesting to to use that sophisticated threat actor, right? Terminology, I, I see what advanced you mean. threat, right? Right, right. I, mean, right. I see what you they mean. They are. Yeah. It's clever. It's yeah. it's interesting, and it's and it's it's fascinating. Some of the techniques that come up, mm -hmm. um, and and the tactics tactics that they. So, um, coming to my very last question, right? So, looking at your career for more than twenty years, uh, spanning the government sector and the private sector, right? What are the skills that you say remain consistently sort of you know crucial in cyber defense? Yeah, that's a great question. I'm, I'm mentoring. Um, I'm mentoring uh, one person now. She she's just recently sort of joined um, uh, a cybersecurity company um, elsewhere. But I think she's sort of the prototypical uh, uh, answer that we need in cybersecurity, which is the same thing I said before. Really, it's it's a curious mind, the ability to actually learn cybersecurity. Right, you don't need to know it, um, but she's. Like as someone who who has the ability to to learn sort of the different technologies that underpin things, um, the, the the functions, the business functions that we're going to be relying on, um, but that cur curious mind mm -hmm. and the analytic mindset um, is is really kind of the the biggest thing. How do I solve these problems? How do I aggressively go after them? Um, can I learn new technologies? Right. I mean, there's always new technologies that are coming online. Um, that you have to learn and understand how that impacts cybersecurity, mm -hmm. right? LLMs are a great example of that, right? That's right. You, you, you have to be curious in order, it's because it's not the same as, you know, the, the ML uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, solutions that were, or models that were um, used maybe 10 years ago, right? Like, so it's like, how does this impact cybersecurity? What things should I do? What things should I focus on? Um, so that's that's what I would say is kind of the the biggest thing is um, getting getting kids interested from a, a curiosity standpoint mm -hmm. early, um, show them that I mean this is going to be a problem. AI is not going to solve everything. Mm. You're still going to have to be able to like steer these models yeah. in the right way, um, but but doing it with a curious mind and, and, an, and an analytic mindset. So that's a good point, uh, showing the children early yeah. and their formation years, uh, introducing them to the world of computers, into the world of, I guess, uh, cybersecurity yes. and the possible, yeah. well, pr programming and coding and uh, how to spot maybe vulnerabilities. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's, it's everything from those sort of uh, capture the flag things that, you, that right. you see. I yeah. know I know where I live in Hawaii, um, we have, like with the, with the University of Hawaii, they're doing a, a lot of really cool things with like the different um, different age uh, groups. the different age groups. Oh, so wow, like cool. getting down, um, we at oh, Blue Boy wow. and we we host some things in Baltimore as well. 
um, basically like internships and that sort of thing. Getting kids right, sort of cool. involved early, it's great to sort of get kids interested in things, let them play with things yes, yeah. um, early on. So it's like, oh, this is, you know, it's, f- I, uh, I always get sort of corrected about this, but like as a business person, this stuff is fun, right? It's, 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 in, it's, it's entertaining. You're always solving new problems, right? That's I mean, right, yeah. you said about cat and mouse, it's, it's fun to be the cat, right? You're like constantly trying to like figure out what's happening and how to, how to build a better mousetrap and like how to solve new problems. It's, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting stuff. So. 